Hey everyone, how's it going? Happy Tuesday morning, I hope you're doing well. If you saw my story yesterday, in today's video, I wanna be talking about what I would describe as a very conservative portfolio. So this is someone that may not know a whole lot about investing, but they wanna get started somewhere, but they want a portfolio where they're not taking a lot of risk, um, yet they're still um, generating some sort of wealth out of their portfolio. So this is what I'm gonna describe as the bare minimum, I think, that you should have invested if you have a 20 to 30 year time frame. Um, like I said in an earlier video, if you have a 20, 30 year time frame, the history of the stock market really is your friend where you can really anticipate those 10% returns over time and you don't need to worry as much about timing the market. So the really the best thing you can do is just put money into the stock market and hold it long term rather than care about all the short term fluctuations. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, so my reasoning behind having 15 to 20% invested is that the average millionaire next door, the book that studies um, the average millionaire across the country, it teaches us that the average millionaire invests 15 to 20% of their income. So this is long-term investments. So that means they're holding it for a three to five year time frame. This could be held in stocks, bonds, Crypto, which is relatively new. Real estate is one of the best um, investments you can make over time. And then any other long-term investment. So if you wanna invest in like a franchise, um, a restaurant or something like that, those are all examples of long-term investments. And this book teaches us that the average millionaire would invest 15 to 20% of their income into these long-term investments. So I really think this 15% is really just a starting point of your net worth that you want invested. Um, and this is a sentence that I'm gonna say, and I really think this is very important. I think as you increase your financial literacy, the more comfortable you get investing a higher percentage and the more uncomfortable you get holding onto cash in your bank account. Um, so let me just go over just a few numbers that I think may start to change your mindset about holding money in your bank account because many people just um they're working their nine to five and they're watching their bank account going going up and they're like oh my god i'm this much much closer to being able to retire but if you really just have one source of income and you're not investing any of that you're going to be working your nine to five for a very long time and i wouldn't anticipate retirement for a very long period of time um, like i said 15 to 20 percent is really the bare minimum to have invested um, if you want to achieve that wealth over time. So let me just talk about a few numbers. From 1960 to 2022, we've ex experienced a 3.74% inflation rate. So this means the money sitting in your bank account from 1960 has decreased each year by 3.74%. So people are always concerned about the fluctuations of the stock market. Right now it's going down like crazy. Um, but people don't realize that your purchasing power in your bank account fluctuates a lot as well. Um, and the history has showed us that the history of the dollar has decreased significantly over time. So it really does make sense if you do want to generate wealth, if you don't want to be working for your entire life, you want that financial literacy, that financial freedom, you really do have to improve your financial literacy. And as you become um, more educated on these topics, you start to feel a lot more confident having more of your money invested as you start to understand. Because these are what all the other millionaires around the world are doing. Um, they're just not really telling you that much. Um, you see them at their hundredth step rather than at their first step where they just started. Um, so I think that's really important to acknowledge. And then another important thing to acknowledge is just over the course of the last 12 months, April ended, we've experienced an 8.3% inflation rate. So if you're returns haven't beat 8.3 percent in the last year you're losing money um, your ability to buy with that money in your bank account is decreasing and pretty significantly over the last year obviously inflation should be pretty short term so obviously this will change but even despite that overall we're still gonna we should still anticipate a three percent inflation rate even on good years so it really does show the importance of having money invested into your bank account um, so I want to repeat that sentence I said a minute ago. The more you increase your financial literacy, the more comfortable you will feel investing a higher percentage of your money and the more uncomfortable you will feel holding money in your bank account. So that's how I want to end this video today. 
Um, I strongly suggest if you have no money invested today, start figuring out how you can invest just 15% of your, your monthly or annual income. I promise this will go a long way in the future. Um, enjoy everyone's Tuesday. Bye.